pitch through the legs of Jonah Heim. That is ball one. LeClerc has been taking the occasional toss, but right now he had uh, his left hand on his hip, and he's watching along with the rest of us. This would be a save for Josh Spores if he finishes it. 1-0 the count, and here's the pitch, a swing and a foul ball back. It was a one-run game when Spores came on in the seventh inning. The Rangers had just taken a 1-0 lead, and Spores retired Christian Walker on a fly ball to center. In the eighth, he gave up a two-out single to Alec Thomas. But he struck out the pinch hitter, Smith, looking at a curve. Now he is one out away from clinching the Rangers' first World Series championship. The 1-1 pitch. That's over for a strike. And the count is 1-2. and two, And the Diamondbacks, trailing 5 to nothing, are down to their final strike. Supreme confidence in all of his pitches tonight. One ball, two strikes. Spores is ready. Here's the pitch. Just inside. Those Ranger fans scattered through the crowd, groaning a little bit. There's a good contingent behind the Rangers dugout. And the more out in the bleachers. Two balls, two strikes. Spores kicks and fires. He struck him out looking. It's over. It's over. The Rangers have won the World Series. Ranger fans, you're not dreaming. The Rangers are the World Series champions. After 52 years in Texas, 63 years of the franchise, the wait is over, and the celebration has begun. Straight up 8 o'clock in the Mountain Standard Time Zone, 11 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 o'clock back home in Texas. Josh Spores wraps it up, and the Rangers are your World Series champions. Can you believe it? Wow. May the ghosts of 2011 be forever erased.